Okay, so um, this is our chat box script, and like the GUI controller script, um, this is a bit more complex, so I'm not going to be going into it as in depth as some of the other scripts. Um, basically, what we do is when uh, when we enter uh, when we enter the game, we send an RPC call, receive chat, and receive chat is um, used for all of the um, used for sending and receiving chat messages and so uh, then we this is the sender and so we're saying the sender of this message is the server and then uh, we have player prefs that get string player name and so then for the actual message content we have the name plus has joined the chat room or sorry has joined the game and so you wind up having it work something like this say um, a player named Bob enters uh, the game um, you get a message server colon uh, Bob has joined the game and so that is basically what the awake does and then on the player disconnects we uh, tell everybody that a player has disconnected um, then in the on GUI we have a variable should draw uh, chat box or sorry should show a chat box and when that's true it'll just draw the chat box um, when it's false we draw the latest entries which is in short term chat entries so that's what this does right here um, the chat window um, we draw up to 20 entries and we also have a, a text field in here so that the person can write something and uh, send it um, then in the update function we have input dot get button down talk and by default the talk button is T and so if a person is pressing uh, has pressed the T key um, it will show or hide the chat box um, or I guess it will only show the chat box and then um, if a person wants to hide the chat box again they press the close button which is once again in uh, this chat window function and then we have our receive chat uh, RPC call and whenever we receive chat we uh, create a new entry and an entry is just a class and the class has three variables uh, the sender um, the message and the type um, and so whenever we receive chat we create a new entry um, we then have the sender equal of the sender of this entry equal sender right here and then we have the message equal message right here and then we have type equal type right here um, then we add uh, this entry to the chat entries and then we test to see if uh, if the chat entries count is bigger than zero or sorry bigger than twenty. If the chat entries count is bigger than twenty, then we remove uh, the last or the oldest chat entry. Um, then we add it to our short term entries, um, and then we test to see if it's bigger than eight. If it is bigger than eight, then we remove the um, chat entry for index for the sorry we remove the oldest uh, chat entry um, and then we have this function short term removal and that's right here and then we wait just a little bit um, and then we have the scroll view top equal true and that will make it so that the um, scroll bar goes to the very top whenever somebody sends you a new message um, then we have the short term removal um, and we wait for eight seconds and then after eight seconds if uh, the short-term chat entries count is bigger than zero then we remove the oldest short-term chat entry and um, that is basically what the chat box script is um, it's a bit more complex than all of that and to truly understand it all just like the GUI controller just go through and read all the comments um, and you should be able to learn pretty much all the major stuff by doing that.